Hello and welcome! This is Vinny from Art Graphics Games. In this series of short tutorials, I will be discussing about the new capabilities of Godot 4. Today, we'll start with the basics of the new Tile Map node, which allows us to easily design and edit our 2D levels. Godot 4 also introduces a new 2D lighting system that can make your scenes look more realistic and dynamic. I'll give you a brief overview of how to use it and how to transform your 2D scene from this to this. Let's create a new 2D scene in Godot 4 and add a tile map node as a child of the root node. Then click on the tile map node and create a new tile set. You can see that it says that this tile map's tile set has no resource configured. Click on the newly created tile set and then go to the tile map tab to start creating your tiles. Go to your resources and select your tileset PNG image and drag it on to the tileset section. You will see a dialog box saying, this atlas's texture was modified. Would you like to automatically create tiles in the atlas? Just click yes, because we want Godot to create all the tiles for us automatically. If the existing tile size does not match your image's tile size, you have to modify it. While in the tileset tab, Click on the Setup button and modify the texture region size to suit your tile size. In my case, I'm using the image uh, with a tile size of 64 by 64. I will also go to the Inspector tab and modify my tile size in the Inspector window. Now you can see that the tiles are matching with my image. You can click and select Single Tile and start creating your level. But before we do that, uh, I'm going to make a few more adjustments to the tiles. I want some of the tiles to act as floors and balls, which means that my characters and objects need to interact with them. I will need to add collision shapes to my tiles. To add the collision shapes to tiles, I need to create a physics layer. In the Inspector tab, you will see a section Physics Layer. Open it and click Add Element. This will add a new physics layer to the tile map node. You can create multiple physics layers and assign them different collision layers and collision masks and use different layers for different tiles depending on your need. For this example, I only need one physics layer. Now, when you go back to the tile set tab, you can select the tile you want to have a collision on. In the select mode, within this tile set tab, you will see a physics section. Inside the physics section, you will have your newly created physics layer, called Physics Layer 0. Since in our example we are only using one physics layer, we will use this layer and create collision shapes. I want the entire tile to have collision, so I will use the menu and select Reset to Default Tile Shape, or press F as a shortcut. Now, a square collision shape is created which matches exactly with the tile. I will repeat this process for all the tiles I need the collision on. Now if you see here at the bottom, I have a few tiles. I need a collision on them, but the collision shape does not need to occupy the entire area of the tile. Just certain portions of the tile. For these tiles, instead of using F, I can just create a polygon shape. I can also press F and then adjust the points. Okay, I am done with creating collisions on the tiles I want. Now we can start painting our level using these tiles. Select the tile map node and go to the tile map tab and start adding the tiles. You can turn the visual grid lines on or off using this button on the right. I will now quickly add the background tiles. I want to add more tiles on top of this brick background, which brings us to the next new feature in the new tile maps in Godot 4. Layers. In the inspector window, you will find a layers section. You will find one layer by default. This is the layer we were drawing on by default. 
I'm going to rename the existing layer to background. Then I'm going to add two more layers and name them floors and walls and objects. Now we have three layers to work on within the same tile map node. I will select the wall and floors layer to draw on this layer. The layers are drawn in order. So the first layer is drawn first, then the second layer is drawn over the first layer, and then the third layer is drawn over the first and the second and so on. You can also select multiple tiles at once and place them. I will quickly create the tiles. Now let's bring the character in the scene to be able to test the level. As you can see, the character is interacting with all the floors and walls as expected. To make the level more interesting, we could add some lights to it. And I will discuss that in the second part of the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please click the like button. Also, please subscribe to our channel if you are interested in Godot 4 or game development in general. You can find the link to the second part of this tutorial in the description. Thank you for watching.